While you're busy checking your Christmas to-do list, make sure you don't fall victim to tech scams involving packages this holiday season. News 2's Corey Johnson with details. With Christmas less than a week away, you've probably already checked out all of your online shopping carts. But be aware of smishing schemes, deceptive text messages that try to lure people into providing personal or financial information. The scams that people claiming to be from, you know, the United States Postal Service or FedEx or UPS, uh, those are among the top five scams that are reported across the country. Teresa Murray is a consumer watchdog with the U.S. Public Interest Research Group. She says scammers have become clever when it comes to deceiving you. What this is about is the bad guys are trying to do anything they can, anything, to get you to click that link, especially this time of year. You're like, oh gosh, I ordered that thing for grandma. And what, there's a problem? And so you just kind of like, before you think about it, you click on the link and then it's off to the races. The scammers claim to be from USPS. I even got one this morning. This message saying my USPS package had arrived, but it can't be delivered because of an incomplete delivery address. It also provided a link to click. It's a scam. These texts are part of an international phishing scheme that's designed to steal personal information from recipients. If you click on that link in the text message, you'll be inviting the scam artist into your life. The links can even take you to pages that look like the real USPS site. But keep in mind, USPS will not send customers text messages or emails without a customer first requesting the service with a tracking number. It will not contain a link. And USPS does not charge for these services. All these bad guys are trying to do is to make you suspend your common sense for just a couple seconds, long enough for them to kind of suck you into their universe and steal money, steal information, and, you know, then you can't take it back. Corey Johnson, News 2. If you received one of these text messages and would like to report it, head to our website at WKRN.com and look for this story to find out how.